Me Narva, it's now or never. Get ready. Albus, you shall maybe think that he won't talk about you. Oh, <gasps> nonsense. Call Severus. You wanted to see me? Yes, Severus, today is my glory day. Prepare the fire. Hi, and welcome in things that you might not know about. You'll never hear the wolf cry as blue come moon. <laughs> Cannot whistle. In the Goblet of Fire pose a second task. They must go into Dark Lake to save someone important for them. Oh no, hang on! Minerva, you didn't say anything about saving! Not you, Albus. It's the kid who must do it. Oh! <laughs> nice. It's good to be the actor. For that, they obviously didn't put all the actors in the lake and shoot everything for hours and hours. Instead, they shot it in a big tank, but like, really, really big. It was in fact one of the largest and... Uh, <laughs> It was in fact one of the largest underwater set ever constructed. The largest one of... Uh, shit! The largest one was for the Abyss from James Cameron, because... Well... It's James Cameron and... He can. So of course, shooting underwater implicates some precautions, like... Signals and stuff like that, in case... Well, you start to drown. And one of those signals Daniel Radcliffe did, by accident, sending the entire crew into panic. Another thing to take into consideration is that magic doesn't exist. I don't want to talk about it. So divers were close all the time to allow the actors to stay submerged a little bit longer. Harry! No, Albus! Albus, let go! Name is not a piece of meat! Daniel got two ears infection after that. I guess that when you stay almost 42 minutes in the water, you can expect a little bit of trouble. There must be something in the water Cause every day it's getting colder And if only I could hold ya Obviously. Minerva lost it. Come and see. Why is she fighting a cotton candy? I show you this loyalty, you bloody dad! If it's not cotton candy, it's Dolores. Oh, well, fix space. Narcissa Malfoy actress was originally cast for Bellatrix. But due to having a baby, she was replaced with the amazing Elena Boehm Carter. And Destiny is a funny thing when you know that there are sisters in the movie. And that's wonderful. <sighs> and speaking of the Black family, G.K. Rowling has provided over 70 names for the Black family tree. Minerva, is my phoenix ready? Good. It's going to be my epic way out. I'm ready. Minerva! My epic way out! It doesn't talk about it! Don't worry, you'll get an epic one soon enough. Oh, will I? There's nothing I can say Except sometimes you see everything you wanted And sometimes you see everything you wish you had And it's right there, right there, right there in front of you Want to believe it's true? Cause what if everyone saw? Romance takes a big place in this opus. Harry realized that Ginny is a very nice girl after a long time, and mostly after she started dating someone else. 
her ears a little bit long. Gavin and... <laughs> Ronan Wheeler! And Ron is dating Lavender Brown, played by Jesse Cave, who has beat more than 7,000 girls for the role. Oh dear lord, she's violent. Not physically, during audition. Ah, good. However, this victory wasn't totally well received by everybody. Because indeed, before that, the role was played for black actresses. Kathleen McAuley in Chamber of Secrets and Jennifer L. Smith in the third opus. I don't know if I said that name properly. Probably not. I'm sorry. Obviously, this change of color has triggered people. Still no epic moment for me, I guess. Severus? Minerva shot me! That was your plan. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my bad. Est-ce que diable qui s'est incarné en elle Pour détourner mes yeux du Dieu éternel Qui a mis dans mon être ce désir charnel Pour m'empêcher de regarder vers le ciel Peu importe en elle le péché originel La désirée fait-il de moi un criminel Seul, on prenait pour une fille de joie, une fille de rien Semble soudain porter la croix du genre humain Oh Notre-Dame, en laisse-moi rien qu'une fois Pousser la porte du jardin d'Esmeralda Paulina, Paulina, <laughs> no respect. When Hermione takes Polyjuice to be Beatrix, Helena Boehm-Carter first looked at Emma doing the scene and after she did it herself. So basically what happened, what Helena Boehm-Carter was doing was Emma doing Hermione doing Bellatrix. <laughs> what a queen. If, like me, you were wondering during the movie why Snape didn't die where he was supposed to die, here's why. First, for those who only saw the books... <laughs> <gasps> ah! I'm tired! First, for those who only saw the movie, in the book, Severus dies in the Shrieking Shack. It is used as a hideout for Voldemort and company. There, Voldemort will order Nagini to kill Severus, and Nagini is floating in a protective bubble, floating around, and is coming and surrounding his head, and then killing him. So not exactly what's happening in the movie. So according to Andrew Aikland, <laughs> another name that I destroy, the art director, the setting was changed for a more dramatic look, and GK agreed. Haha, <laughs> you're dead too! Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like, subscribe, share, and don't forget, happiness is right under your nose, so smile. Before, I didn't think before. Duck girl, oh, kitty.